Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for April 1st through the 7th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Capricorn. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Nine of Swords. Something's bugging you, something's on your mind. It's not super big, but it's there. Um, in the recent past, the Empress, the Five of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. All right. I mean, you're giving me a sense of you working with someone here, potentially, and you're feeling good about it for the most part, but there's a little bit of, ugh, you know, to it. I don't know what that is exactly. I'm not sure if something happened or if it's just that dynamic there. We'll see. In the current situation, the Seven of Wands, the Sun, the Hierophant. Uh, da, 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 da. There's a little bit of... um, Like you're heading in a good direction here. You got something going for you and it's quite big and it, it brings in a lot of happiness. Uh, there is a little part of you that is kind of standing against that. I don't know what that is exactly, but we'll figure it out. In the immediate future, the Death card, the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups. I'm hearing something about short-lived. Like something feels really, really nice. Like you love it. It feels, oh my god, oh my god. It, it, I don't know. It could have to do with the situation, the current... But it could be something else. But it feels really good for the most part. But I get a, a, a feeling of short-lived for some reason with this one. Uh, okay. Let's clarify. Let me do the Nine of Swords. The Two of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Hermit. Yes, something's bugging you, something's on your mind, and this one has to do with the current situation where you got something going on. It could be that some sort of commitment is coming together in a beautiful way. By the looks of it, I mean, the energies that surround the situation look super nice, and when you connect deeply to yourself, you feel that. It's like it feels good, you know? Um, but there's something within you that, again, is is rejective almost to that. It's... Let's say, <clears throat> what do we say? Let's say you're planning a vacation with your significant other, right? Everything's great. Everything's working out great. It's like, oh my God, it's amazing. Um, you plan it out. You start getting on roll with it. You, you go, you vacation, you do everything. that, And then in the middle of it all, you're kind of like, okay, I want to go home. Or something, you know, out of nowhere and for no good reason. It's like you're having a good time, you know. That's kind of how I'm seeing the energy. Not typically that example, but that's how it comes through for me as an energy. Like something within you is kind of like, bah! you know, no. Um, and it's interesting because it's bugging you and through this bugging you you're kind of getting that it's coming from me so something is on my side something is bothering me about this situation but it's because of me so you're acknowledging that okay cool uh let's do the empress in the recent past the king of wands the eight of cups the page of cups so this partnership right here in the past where everything looks good it's coming together nice and there's a there's a little bit of energy of holding something against this partnership. And it's coming from the past of it where things look like up and down. Like it, it didn't come together smoothly. It may have come together like, okay, it's working out. Okay, it's not working out. Okay, it's working out today. Mm, tomorrow, not so much. Da, 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 da. You know, kind of showing up like that a little bit. On and off and on and off and on and off. And that's the energy you're kind of holding against the situation, even if it starts flowing more in a direction of it's working out. 
Um, and you're not doing it consciously. You're doing it without even realizing that you're doing that. For the Five of Cups, you get the Fool, the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Yeah, because you're coming into the situation with the idea that it's just going to flow. It feels good. Okay, so then it's going to flow, right? And then when it doesn't, it's like, oh, okay, whatever. And then tomorrow it does again, and you're like, oh, okay, we're doing this. And then, oh, you know. So it kind of brought a lot of that, but most of it was based on expectation, your expectation over it. Like, it should flow. If I feel good about it, it should flow, right? And then when it didn't, it's like... So we most of the times get upset because of our own expectations. And we don't even realize that. It's not because they did something wrong. They did what they were supposed to do. You know? Um, for the three of pent... And I'm talking about small stuff here. I'm not talking about, you know, you're dealing with someone abusive. And it's like, yeah, they did something wrong then. You know, we're talking about little things. Um, for the Three of Pentacles in the recent past, you get the King of Cups, the Death card, the Ten of Wands. This, whoever this is, is looking like they're coming into this with a huge-ass deficit of opening up emotionally. So this is someone that had, potentially still does, but had a really hard time connecting to their emotions. So now I can kind of understand why things were up and down. You're, you're open from the get-go. And because of that, you may have had the expectation for whoever you're dealing with here to show up in the same way, right? And when they are not showing up in the same way, it's like, oh, why? Because they're a different person. They're someone else. They're not you. They're going to be them, which is going to make them different. Which is going to make them potentially like that. Yeah, some people, you know, have a hard time with that. Not to say that, you know, eventually, potentially, they're not ever going to work on that. They could. And I feel like they have. Because they're, it feels like the situation gained a little more flow, you know. But you needed to allow that. Uh, by removing those expectations, by just being with what is and seeing where things go, you know? Because that creates the space for them to open up. If you expect them all the time that they're not gonna by doing, oh, they're not showing up today, you know, or something, then they're not gonna show up. They're gonna be like, oh, okay, well, they expect me to do this, I'll do this. And it's, it's, that's how energy works. It's not, it's not something spoken. It's not like you're sitting down with whoever this is necessarily and saying, hey, you know, you suck because you don't open up. And then they're like, oh, I suck because I don't open up. So then I won't open up. No, it's more of an energetic kind of a thing where you're showing up with that expectation over them to open up. Um, and if they don't, God forbid, you're disappointed. They're dealing with your disappointment over that. So they're not going to open up. That doesn't create the space for them to open up. That creates the space for them to be, you know, in that place where they're going to disappoint you over and over again by not showing up. Because that's how energy works. Again. Um, hold on. We got carried away here. For the Seven of Wands in the current situation, you get the Emperor, the Star, the Five of Cups. Kind of like what now? What's what's going on now? Because uh, you're showing up very connected to basically looking at the transformation of a very meaningful situation for you, where it went from okay, on and off, in and out, blah blah blah, um, into a place of all right. I know what they mean to me. I know what this is to me. I'm very clear about what I want from this. All of that. Um, <clears throat> you still have those little mm, about this whole situation, even though your energy tied up to this shows up much more clear than it did in the past in terms of there, there's a flow to your energy here. In the past, it was up and down, um, you know, writing expectations, basically. But right now, no, you drop those You're very clear, but there's still a little bit of... Mm, on your side a little bit of 
you know, in the middle of vacation time. Okay, I want to go. There's still a little bit of that. Let's do the sun in the current situation. The queen of wands, the two of swords, the seven of cups. It's, it's kind of... Um, this looks odd. Hold on. Let me do the hierophant. For the hierophant, you get the nine of cups, the five of swords, the sun. Okay. So it looks like everything's fine here. Energetically speaking, everything is fine, more than fine within this dynamic. Um, it almost shows up as one of those things where we all are guilty of that for some unexplainable re well it could be explained through methods of healing but we're not going to get into that now but um it's when everything's fine let's make it not fine cause cause um it's a subconscious kind of a thing. It's, uh, you know, and that goes for everybody. Um, too good to be true. The idea of that, when you say that, do you notice that every time you say that and you actually truly feel that something happens to show you, oh, it's not too good to be true, actually. Why do you think that? Because we just created that by saying that it's too good to be true. The universe hears that responds to us. If this is too good to be true, let me show them something else then. Because that means they're attracting something else. They want something else. You know? Because we a lot of the times when we truly feel that, we're coming from that place of truly, truly, deeply feeling that and meaning that. And at the reverse of that, there's always the not too good to be true part that the universe hears and responds to us. When we say that, we're actually hanging on to a lot of fear, that something's gonna come in and fuck this up because it's too good to be true. But we don't realize that we're doing that. So it kind of looks a little bit like that, like everything's fine, everything's great. Let's complicate things all of a sudden because it's too good to be true. Most of these energies and a lot of the times that we show up in these energies, we don't do it on purpose. We don't even realize we're doing it. We don't, you know, when we do feel like it's too good to be true and something happens, we start looking around and like, universe, what the fuck, dude? What, what, what just happened? I had a good, what the fuck did you just do? You know, uh, not realizing, hey, we created this. Um, huh. And usually it comes from fear that, okay, it is good. The fear of something bad happening to this good is there in the background when we truly feel that it's too good to be true oh man it, this is not a huge let's complicate things this is a little one but it's there you know it's kind of like you know when you're having a good time you're outside in the summertime it's like oh my god you know you're sitting around by a fire everything's fine relaxing it's like oh man life is good and then there's this fucking mosquito around zzz, 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 and it stings you and it's fucks with you and it's like everything's fine it's fine it's fine you know stuff like that that's kind of the annoying aspect of this energy um your overthinking is the mosquito let's do the death card in the immediate future you get the queen of swords the two of pentacles the five of wands mm. this looks like a pretty harsh energy all of a sudden there could be a major fight here. Kind of leaves things up in the air, unresolved. But you're coming in with a sense of, no, it's done. But it's not. I don't know if it applies to this situation or something else. I'm kind of being drawn towards something else. But it could be tied up to this still. I don't know. Let me do the Knight of Cups. You get the Knight of Swords, the Chariot, the Four of Cups. No, it's not done. No, it's not done because there's two energies here that are willing to participate into not letting it be done. Yeah, something is going down here. Something, I don't know, 
what kind of something it's not looking great it's not feeling great but then these energies both of them coming to play saying okay let's work on this and then they do there's i mean someone is still showing up upset potentially the both of you but <clears throat> no it's not done let's do the nine of cups the devil the four of pentacles the six of pentacles ultimately things will be all right here whatever happens it could be tied up to this where maybe you have a disagreement or something and you bump heads big time to the point of okay i'm done and then, okay i'm not done but i'm upset because i see a sense of let's resume here you know let's let's resume um the thing is you're still hanging on to this energy to the mosquito you know as you resume like in initially it could turn out as a mosquito this little fear behind the too good to be true part and then it turns into this volcano that i see here erupting volcano and then it's like okay you know it is what it is so this is basically showing you what this little mosquito can do you know what it can turn into that fear from something little into potentially something bigger you know and then when you resume you resume to the mosquito so not understanding hey something 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 happened here who created this what created this it's not even about the who oh it's their fault oh it's my fault it's nobody's fault it's fear attached to the game whether on your side or theirs or even both because a lot of the times it's both cases but you know it's going from mosquito to an erupting volcano and then back to a mosquito why don't we work around that mosquito to kind of shoo it away to have that chill night by the fire you know ultimately so let me see what the universe has to close it off the lovers the king of swords the emperor this is going all right this is perfect the universe is kind of giving me a sense and i got it throughout the reading that this could be a commitment that's very important that's just growing and growing and growing and is on the right track there's here and there there's a mosquito showing up fucking up with the energies of you know fucking up the energies of the connection um and it's just a matter of how big are you gonna allow for that mosquito to get you know or are you gonna try to talk to the mosquito and say hey we don't need you here anymore you know um it's just the little fears through the growth of this that can pop in and it can cause all sorts of disturbances you know from a mosquito bite to a freaking lava kind of a thing so it's kind of a reminder of you know take a take be a little more aware of what's in the background there what's playing in the background and sometimes most times it's fear especially if something valuable to us is growing and growing and growing and getting bigger and bigger you know so that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time